Hoffman's Kloof Pass. As we're heading to Ashton. Yes. It's about a 10 kilometer drive from Montague, but it's a scenic drive. Oh, I can already see that. They've made these little picnic spots next to the road here for people like us to stop and have a look at is absolutely gorgeous. This footpath as well. Yes. I wonder how far that goes along. I'm sure it goes all the way. It's fantastic that they made these places. Yes. Look, there's another one up front. Wow, oh, they made great. quite a few. See there. There's the fort. Oh <gasps> no way! There's the fort. Look at that. It looks so part of the mountain you Never say, eh? That is I can't ridiculous. believe it. Ridiculous. And I've I've driven through this place so many times, and I've never seen that fort before. It's like part of the mountain. You were just lucky now. Yes. Okay, so I think it dates back to 1899. I read. Really? Hi there. Yeah. The English fort in Kochmannskloof dates back to 1899 and the Anglo-Boer War. Babe! Wow, that's absolutely stunning. You were so lucky to spot it yes, now. Yes, I was. I was wondering where this fort is. It's like part of the mountain now. Crazy. Yeah, look, that is well camouflaged, I must be honest. There's so much information here. If I'm moving too quickly, I suggest you just pause this as you read along. How beautiful is this little picnic spot here under the trees? Oh, 
they've really done well with this place I think it's fantastic Thomas Bain again. <laughs> Thomas Bain was some guy. Let me tell you. We two of his biggest admirers. Incredible. Don't you think they just did the most brilliant job with all these little walls and the tables? And I think so. Look at this. Oh. And the fort is just above here. Unreal. Yo. There's the fort again. It's almost completely invisible from this side. Seriously. Apparently, I just want to go and have a look at it quickly. Wow, sir! I think it's the original bridge from Thomas Bain's time. Connecting these two areas. Yes. Okay. Well, I think so. I'm speculating. Why would they have called it Hodges Bridge, though? Yeah, I'll see yeah. if I can find something. Okay. Hodges Bridge. Absolutely fantastic that they've done this to preserve the old but there goes the new this is the old tar look at this oh what happened here there must have been a plaque in here and someone stole it now for the metal I suppose Oh man. I hope Sonia can find something online about the bridge now. This upsets me. I'm really glad you got some information because I'm pretty upset that they stole that block there. Yeah. They should make perspex blocks now. Or yeah, but, boards. But or they fade in the sunlight. That's the problem. Oh, but some yeah. other material then. Anyway, I found lots. Okay. Um, it was affectionately known for a long time as Horkisbrug by the residents of the district. 
It's located at the southwestern end of the kloof as we know, and it was the first road bridge built in the spectacular Kochmans kloof. It was opened in early 1872. What? So, the bridge was named after Frederick Hodges, who was the resident magistrate in Robertson and chairman of the divisional council at the time. Mr. Hodges was instrumental in obtaining funding for the construction of the bridge from the Cape government. The official opening ceremony on January 10, 1872 was a momentous occasion. Residents of Ashton and Montague and even Robertson turned out to witness Frederick Hodges accompanied by an honor guard of 30 horsemen wow. declare the bridge open for public use. Fantastic. I can see it yes, happening. Yes, And they still got the, in the middle there, they still got the original asphalt with the big stones in it and everything is fantastic oh, okay yeah. because now they say it was it's actually two bridges yes you can see it which today are known as culverts they say each bridge was built with stone masonry and had a rectangular opening for the water course wow fantastic i wish i could have been here that day yeah with the horsemen and the it mr must have hodges been spectacular eh? brilliant story Thank you, Mr. Hodges. Yeah. Orkiesbrug. Orkiesbrug. Cool, man. Oh, there you see the rectangular opening. Yes. Okay. Ashton, here we are. It's a nice entry to the town. Yes, it is. Time we were here, there were crazy roadworks through it, eh? Yes. And this structure that we are approaching yeah. was under construction. Yes. old and modern bridge. Sure. Right? Yeah, we will. It's sort of go over this bridge. I'm figuring out what factory this is and I missed the loco. Shio. Wow, it's a massive bridge this, mm. eh? Wow, how cool is this? Again crossing the Kochmans. This is spectacular, eh? Quite a few interesting things in um, in Ashton. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that loco is one I want to go back to. Absolutely. Did you know that Route 62 yes. is either fast becoming the world's longest wine route or is already the world's longest wine route? One website says the one and the other says the other thing. Okay. So it's equally impressive. That is crazy, eh? I never knew that. No, I didn't I either. We're not major wine drinkers, so we, we don't know those things. Uh, we're not wine drinkers at all. <laughs> Put it well, that give way. me a sparkling every now and again, but that's as far as it goes. Only New Year, eh? <laughs> <laughs> So 
So the town is sandwiched between the Breda River on the one side and the foothills of the Langeberg Mountains. On that side. On that side, yes. So this is it. We flew Ashton, I think. Got a few things to go back to. That's for sure. Hi. Taking a walk here yeah, next to the new bridge. Floods of Ashton. Now we came driving past here when they were building this bridge, I think it was 2021. But it's majorly impressive. How oh, they started it in 2019, look at that. Yeah, the size of these things. Incredible. There's the water flowing. This is crazy. Oh, how beautiful. There's an old bridge. That's an old rail bridge. How am I going to get to that guy? Quite a cool bridge, eh? Right? Yo! I see the date on the bridge is 2019. Really? Yes. But That's he, maybe when they started. I think so. Because I found a very interesting article dated the 4th of August 2021 yes. about the new Ashton Arch Bridge. It's newly, it was newly completed then, two years ago, and it's South Africa's first concrete tied arch bridge constructed using a transverse launching method. Wow, I've got no idea what that means. And they say it represented a proud moment for the Western Cape Department of Transport and Public Works. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. They're proud of that bridge. Wow. Look Wait. at this. It's a big train. Fourteen CRB. I don't know what that means. It looks fairly complete, eh? Yeah, it does, eh? So this train is on platform sixty-two.
Wow, it was built in 1919. Wow, what a history. New gallery they're opening here of Andrew Duncan.
Another gun, another looks like anti aircraft gun to me. There used to be a plaque, yeah. Wow. Interesting stop. As always, these yeah. things get to me. Yes. Angel, you know, it's just so incredibly interesting. Yeah. Because I read that Ashton is the capital of the canning industry yes. in our country. And it was home to, or it is home to the largest factory cooperative in the southern hemisphere wow so i immediately assumed it was coup you yes. know because we all grew up with coup so i just when i saw that gentleman with a covering over his head i knew that he must have been associated yes. with these canning plants factories yes. and what he says is that there used to be two it was langeberg coup and ashton canning yes then they eventually amalgamated and it became Langeberg Ashton Foods. Yes. And they were then taken up under Tiger Brands. Yes. But it's just incredible. He says there's a West and an East factory. The East factory does the fruits, like the canned uh, apples, pears, peaches, guavas and apricots. And that's seasonal. And that's seasonal, so yeah. they have no production down here. Yeah. But at the West factory where he is the in charge of production, yes. they do the baked beans, the butter beans, the chickpeas, yes. the whatever. So um, he's been working here for 30 wild, years. Wild, wild. Eh? So I ask him if, he's, um, if he still has the odd uh, baked beans on toast. He says <laughs> regularly. <laughs> and interestingly, he has to taste it. Yes, before and they sign can send it, it all. send it out. Then it goes get scanned and labeled. Eh? I mean, that is unbelievable. Yeah. And you know what? The history of the town, because originally Ashton served as a residential area for the employees of this cooperative. Incredible. All right, let me just get over that and now I see we're at the station. This is too much for me. And there's the name. Oh. I just want to see if I can get closer to the name somehow. The hoopoo. Beautiful, eh? Oh, I love it. Stop here by the stairs to the entrance of the station building. I'm sure this must have been the station building. Or one of the station buildings. Yeah, yeah, you buy your tickets and you walk through, yeah. Wait for the train to come to Ashton Station. which is 150 miles from Cape Town. Yeah. Junction for road transport services to Montague, Warmwatersberg and Batstor. Yeah, this is so nice. So this is the, I was wrong, this is the old station building. And they only do goods here now. Nothing more. 
No more passengers, as we know. We were told we can go around this way and we'll be able to reach that old rail bridge. But that'll be nice. Absolutely. Look at the blue cranes, the couple. Oh, yes. The station there says that it's only for goods now. Okay. That comes as no surprise. Yep. You can see this track is shiny, and this one is not. Yep. It's good that they have a guard, hey? Yes. That's what protects the building. So the one that you thought was the main station must have been a, another utility building. Exactly, so. yeah. Or offices of some sort. Yes. All their boards are still intact. Yeah, it's brilliant. And it's a junction. I'm sure you're going the right way. Yes. Listen, look at this field of little yellow flowers. Yes. Wow. And look it's at beautiful. this bridge. Pretty old. Yeah, it's definitely an old bridge. Oh, spectacular! Though. So, would the freight train still run over it? Definitely. We're um, not making it through there. <laughs> no, we're not. But this is amazing. Did you say the freight train still runs over it? Yes, good trains. Okay, so it's still in good enough shape for that. Oh, for sure. Very rusty. Love it. Can you see all the hundreds and hundreds of crates, yep. fruit crates? I can see that. You think we <gasps> won't go there with the ducks on? Oh, cute! They're swimming down the road. <laughs> Love that. And here's a little one in front. Beautiful. There in the distance is the new bridge from the old one. And I showed you earlier the old one from the new one. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This the, one in This front? is the town hall. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite an unusual design for Fantastic a town hall, huh? Fantastic that we happen upon the town hall, yeah. But the balcony is there for the mayor. Yes, that's fantastic. He's a cornerstone. Twenty-eight May, nineteen fifty-five. I wouldn't have guessed that. No. Would you have? Not at all. Okay. And on your map, it shows it the as, church. As a church, yes. Oh, there's the church behind it. Okay, okay. there we go. <laughs> that explains it. So this is the town hall. Fantastic. Lots of parking for when they have functions and yep. stuff. <laughs> 
weddings and things. I wonder if that still happens. Oh, I hope it does. I was wondering, are we going to find the church now? Yeah, because I thought this was the church. <laughs> Reform Church. Yes. Wow, is this mosaic in the front? That's gorgeous, yes it is. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. It is, eh? The swordfish here at the bottom. Yes. And a buffalo. This is really pretty. Eh? Very beautiful. Yes. Love that. Do you think we would be able to get the cornerstone from driving by? I'm not going to have a look. There's nothing this side. Because now I'm wondering if this is. 60s or 70s? 50s. And this, yeah? I don't know. I thought we could come and figure that out now. Yes, let's first finish with this one. You also think 50s for this one? I think so. If there's a cornerstone. There is. You can drive right up to right it. Right up there. Oh, 1975. There we go. Sonia, Sonia for right. the word. <laughs> 22nd of February 1975. Wild. Very neat. Nice that you can drive right up, eh? Yes. That doesn't happen <laughs> Not often. often. <laughs> okay. Let's figure out the next one. Must be some kind of a church. Oh, look at the bell tower. Yes. Can I go up here? Yes. Oh, look at the bell tower. Private property. Stay away. Yeah. We just wanted to come and admire your bell tower. There's a cornerstone or a Block or a stone in front. Oh, did you see that? Yes. Okay, let's go and have a check. Hopefully, that tells us what it is. Can't say I have any idea. Must be some church because it's got a bell. A religious building, eh? Hey? Yes. Oh, they knew we were coming. Yeah, no, they know. Nineteen forty-seven. Okay, so could it, could this be the first one? First of July, nineteen forty-seven. My thought is because the the cornerstone is in Afrikaans, it's either the first Dutch reformed yeah. or it's reformed. Yeah, I've got no idea. someone we could ask but no. I yes. don't find anything online either this is the school okay primary school no yes. doubt cute I wish we could see someone outside and ask, ask them, yeah. It's not a design I would associate with Dutch reform either. No. Uh, so we've got the groundskeeper and he says that 
this one of 1947, eh? Yes. Was the first church, but they use it as the hall now, the church hall. And this is the new church. Yes, currently used. Okay. Completely wrong on all accounts, we were. Yeah. How would we know? Look at those beautiful Strelitzias. Oh, I didn't even notice them there. We can't even blame it on the wagons, or no, can we? No. Well, the town is old. Oh, no, it's... let me take that back. The town was established in 1897 okay, yep. on the Roedeval farm and attained municipal status in January 1956. Wow. And this is a first for me. The town was named after the first station master. Fantastic. I love that. for my viewpoint. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's a way to get up to the top of this hill. They said there are markers, but we haven't seen any. I haven't seen one marker. See there they are at the top there and there's no way. That's, I'm, I'm sure it's over there, but how does one get there? It's the graveyard. Yes. where it ends. This is a nice view. Pretty, yeah. Can you imagine if one can get higher, what a nice view you're going to have. Maybe we go back to town and we ask someone? Let's see what we can find. So the lady explained to us that we can get to the panoramic viewpoint. So let's see if we can find it. Yes. She says the road may be bumpy. We'll just have to check it out. Yep. We don't mind bumpy as long as it's possible. Exactly. Primary school is nice, eh? Very pretty. So green, everything. Paul Kruger Street. Viewpoint. Okay. There we go. Yeah, they could have made it a little bigger. It was up by the towers. Yes. Oh. Do you think we should try? Yes, let's go. the view is going to blow us away. Yep. Yep. Oh! That. 
This is so worth it. Pretty, eh? Yeah. Look at those mountains. Yeah, what a beautiful view of Ashton. Let's do the drive down from this stunning view. How beautiful is it here? Fantastic. You can literally see everything. Yeah, that's for sure. of little flowers. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. White, purple, yellow. Look at these interesting ones with the orange. Yes, the little pin cushion type one. Yeah. Oh, really it's beautiful, pretty, yeah. yeah. Can you please check out their little train? Their little wooden train? <laughs> So we realized we left our cool drink yep. in the fridge. So we need liquid refreshments for ourselves and for the quiddy. That's it. And we might be able to get them at the same place. <laughs> Let's hope. Ashton was filled with interesting things for me. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few highlights for me. Uh, I love that old railway bridge loco and also the view from the top there absolutely beautiful and i also love the old what is it Hodges bridge yes and the fort and the tunnel okay i want to stop <laughs> okay. it was fantastic great visit